The Mac Adam shovel is undoubtedly one of the worst inventions in Canadian military history. The shovel, and I use that term very loosely, was the brainchild of Sam Hughes, Canada's Minister of Militia and Defence in the early years of World War I. It was patented under the name of one of his secretaries, Ina MacAdam. The document can be seen here. Hughes was notorious for corrupt procurement practices, giving contracts that favored his friends even when they made inferior products, like boots made of paper that dissolved in mud and water. The Mac Adam, also known as the Hughes Shovel, was one of the most absurd of Hughes' ideas that was actually brought to fruition. This piece of equipment was patented as a combination shovel, the combination being a shovel that was to be used as a shield that the individual soldier could fire through. To accomplish this, a hole was made in the blade of the shovel. That's right, a shovel with a hole. A terrible idea. It was made out of 3 16 inch steel with a swiveling handle so a pointed piece could be put into the ground. This steel was said to be able to stop a bullet at 300 yards. Renowned Canadian World War I historian Tim Cook wrote, It was not a terrible concept in theory, the idea being to provide infantrymen with some armor, but it was useless as a shovel and lethal to use as a shield, since its thin metal could not stop a high-velocity round. The late Desmond Morton wrote about the lack of protection that the Mac Adam provided. Its fate was sealed when Lieutenant Colonel Fred Loomis picked up a rifle and peppered one of the tools at 200 yards. In 1917, 22,000 of the shovels fetched $1,400 as scrap iron. Not only could they not stop bullets, but they were also too heavy to carry and were useless in digging. Soldiers routinely threw them away and favor other entrenching tools. The Canadian divisions who were equipped with them didn't even bring them to France and the front lines. An order was placed for the shovels to be used in the British Expeditionary Force, but it was cancelled when their ineffectiveness was brought to light. The shovels were mostly scrapped, but some did continue to be used during the war. Snipers employed them, but they had to use many, as bullets easily passed through them. In the history written since this terrible shovel was made, its name is often misremembered. Some write it as Mac Adams, and the Mick Adam shovel is not uncommon. It was an invention so bad, even its proper name is often forgotten.